On the day before September 11, 2001, a few years before I was elected to Parliament, a small group of people gathered in Montreal, part of a campaign to convince UNESCO to adopt an instrument on cultural diversity, an instrument that would put cultural rights up there with human rights. The instrument was adopted in 2005, and I just want to share with you some of the words by the then director, Koichiro Matsura, at the time. The instrument raises cultural diversity to the level of the common heritage of humanity, as necessary for humankind as biodiversity is for nature, and makes its defence an ethical imperative indissociable from the respect for the dignity of the individual. The declaration aims both to preserve cultural diversity as a living and thus renewable treasure that must not be perceived as being unchanging heritage, but as a process guaranteeing the survival of humanity great words and words absolutely embodied in the album that we launched today. An album that honours the poetry of one of Australia's great poets, Krishan Rahat. An album that in collab collaboration with many musicians whose cultural practices come from all around the world reflects us, who we were, who we are and who we're becoming. Thank you to everybody involved in making this happen. You are holding up a mirror that lets us see ourselves more clearly. Thank you and well done to all of you.